Hey brothers and sisters. So I wanted to address a movement here in America that is seeking through its prophets and speakers to bring about revival in America. Here are a few quotes from some of the leaders in this particular movement known as the Third Great Awakening. Andrew Womack said God told him in 2021 that Christian political activists are part of a great national spiritual awakening taking place in voting booths, not just at church altars. The Lord spoke to me and he said, Someday the people in this auditorium will be telling the youth of their generation what it was like to be a part of the third great awakening, he declared. Lance Walnow said, If we have Trump, we have four more years of divine restraint. And he claimed that Democrats teamed with the devil in attempting to impeach Trump twice. A second Trump administration promises divine intervention in the course of self-destruction of a nation and a divine reprieve to hold back anarchy, said Walnow. Flashpoint speakers joined together to recite the Dominionist Watchman Decree, which claims... We, the church, are God's governing body on the earth. We have been given legal power from heaven and now exercise our authority. Because of our covenant with God, we are equipped and delegated by him to destroy every attempted advance of the enemy. And we take back and permanently control positions of influence and leadership in each of the seven mountains. Now you will notice that uh, phrase seven mountains, that's the same thing as the seven mountain mandate, which the new apostolic reformation promotes, which is just another form of kingdom now theology, which teaches that Christians must take over every area of society for Jesus before he can come back. And I will include a link um, with this full watchman decree and their pledge and what they what their goals are in the description page so you, so you can read that for yourself. So is revival a good thing in America? Well, of course, but we must always examine who is behind the call for revival and what kind of revival are they promoting? Is this for God's glory and honor? Or is this to preserve the American dream and their lifestyles? I personally believe the only revival we will see in this country is that of individual salvation, not national revival, back to the glory days. I believe America is under God's judgment per Romans chapter 1. I believe we are closer to the rapture of the church than most believe. If we are given more time, it is only to restrain the rot in order that more people will come to Jesus before the tribulation not to see America revived back to the days of our forefathers. Listen to this quote from an article covering the Third Great Awakening in the 1800s. It can be no coincidence that on September 25th, just two days after Landfear began his prayer meetings, the Bank of Pennsylvania collapsed. And a few weeks later on October 10th, the New York stock market crashed. The financial shockwave sent many businessmen to their knees, not only in New York, but in cities all across the nation. God was the one using means to bring people to himself. As these troubled souls sought consolation at the noon time prayer meetings, the Holy Spirit was at work regenerating dead hearts and convicting men of sin. So true revival, brothers and sisters, is not manufactured by man, but can only come from God. Now consider this principle laid out for the nation of Israel as it concerns our nation today. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, Son of man, when a land sins against me by persistent unfaithfulness, I will stretch out my hand against it. I will cut off its supply of bread, send famine on it, and cut off man and beast from it. Even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they would deliver only themselves by their righteousness, 
says the Lord God. If I cause wild beasts to pass through the land, and they empty it, and make it so desolate that no man may pass through because of the beasts, even though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters, only they would be delivered, and the land would be desolate. Or if I bring a sword on that land and say, Sword, go through the land, and I cut off man and beast from it, even though these three men were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters, but only they themselves would be delivered. Or if I send a pestilence into that land, and pour out my fury on it in blood, and cut off from it man and beast, even though Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, says the Lord God, they would deliver neither son nor daughter. They would deliver only themselves by their righteousness. So you heard from the scriptures in Ezekiel 14, 12 through 23. Even the presence and prayers of the godly could not stop the coming judgment. Noah, Daniel, and Job could not stop the judgment from coming to Israel. Perhaps if the church body intercedes for this nation, perhaps God will give us more time to work. However, nothing will stop the judgment on this country. Listen to Deuteronomy 13. If a prophet or a dreamer of dreams arises among you and gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes true concerning which he spoke to you, saying, let us go after other gods whom you have not known, and let us serve them. You shall not listen to the words of that prophet or that dreamer of dreams, for the Lord your God is testing you to find out if you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. You shall follow the Lord your God and fear him, and you shall keep his commandments, listen to his voice, serve him, and cling to him. So as a result, brothers and sisters, I think what we can learn from these scriptures is that God's judgment is already here on America. And even with the righteous present here in this country, it's not going to stop what God is already doing. God may delay for a time to slow or restrain evil, allowing the church to continue to preach the gospel. But ultimately, I think there's another thing going on in this country, and that is testing. Just like Deuteronomy 13 says, God is testing you to find out if you love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. And he uses false prophets or dreamers to do this. False prophets are a judgment, a form of judgment on this country. Maranatha.